Hi, I'm Liam Stapleton. I'm a specialist in podiatric sports medicine uh, here at Kent Sports Podiatry. Um, and I'm going to run through a series of short videos, uh, the most common uh, rehab exercises that I use um, for common foot and ankle uh, conditions I treat. Now, now, one of the most common exercises I give out uh, is the double leg and single leg heel raises. Now, very often we start with a double leg heel raise, um, and it's common for Achilles and plantar fascia conditions. Um, uh, essentially what we do, stand on a flat surface, we raise up onto tiptoes, nice and slowly, hold for three seconds, and then slowly back down. This is really important, just to touch the heels on the ground without putting your weight through your heels and then raise it back up again. One, two, three, and then back down. One, two, three. And you see it from behind, up we go. One, two, three, and then slowly back down. One, two, three. And this very often the, the first exercise that I give to people, once you progress, um, and I like you, most of my patients to get to about 30 reps, without stopping. And then we do the same thing on one leg. And sometimes people might need to find something to hold on to, but on one leg, same thing, up. One, two, three, and then slowly back down. One, two, three, just touch the heel, and then back up again. One, two, three, and slowly back down. What we would like you to do is to progress to a point where you're not holding on. We're improving the balance in doing this. Now these exercises can be done off a step and there'll be specific reasons why I might want you to do that. And if, uh, and I won't run through them here, but for my patients I will specifically ask you to do them off the step. And the reason being is we can drop the heels into a stretch position uh, below the level of the forefoot. And then we can raise up one, two, three, and you get a much greater drop, that eccentric drop back down into the foot, into the dorsiflexion, and then raising back up again. And that can also be progressed. Uh, like to do that's the same thing on a, on a single leg. When single leg heel raises uh, are progressed, and you can get to about 30, on one leg, what we then like to get you to do is to perform them with a bent knee. So essentially, rather than the knee being locked out straight for raising up and back down, we bend that knee. We keep it bent, and all the movement comes from the ankle. And then up, one, two, three, and then slowly back down, which is really important. Now, notice there's no movement in the knee, all that movement comes from the ankle. As you progress on from there, um, very often for people looking to return to sport, it then becomes a, a more explosive and plyometric movement. And the most common one I would get people to progress from, from being able to do a, a bent knee uh, calf raise would be to do single leg skips, single leg hops. What we're looking for here is a continuous movement. What we don't want is stop, stop. Um, we're looking to build in elastic recoil and explosive movements and that continuous hop um, is what we're looking for.